The simulator manufacturing process comprises of four stages, 3D printing, injection molding, mold making, assembly, and overlay. Each step contributes to the cartridge construction, adding a new layer that corresponds to the layers of human anatomy, beginning with the bones and progressing to the muscles and additional soft tissue. The process begins with creating the bony material, which entails producing a hard and dense substance. In this case, we use plastic, which is 3D printed using our array of 3D printers. Additionally, we print the molds which are used in the next manufacturing stage. Injection molding is used to make the muscles and skin components of our simulators using silicone due to its soft nature similar to human tissue. Injection molding is a process used to produce parts by injecting material into a mold cavity which is cured and hardened to the shape of the cavity. We select certain materials based on the tissue we try to replicate. For example, the skin on your cheek would require a silicone with softer properties compared to the cartilage in your ear, which requires harder properties. Mold making involves prepping, injection, curing, and post-processing, with the mold coated in a releasing agent to prevent the silicone from sticking permanently. After injection, the silicone cures into a solid object which is then post-processed to remove excess material. During this stage, using trade secrets, we add additional material to improve the suturing properties for surgeons. Assembly involves attaching each molded component to the 3D printed bony material. After completing assembly using trade secrets, the simulator is coated with a silicone to both conceal the underlying tissue and resemble soft tissue membrane. The simulator is then cleaned up and moved to our inventory, ready for global distribution. <laughs>